We are now promising heaven or not when we cannot even deliver hell itself. We are promising that because you people as long as you are not lied, you cannot accept it. So we have to lie to you so that you accept that you love life. Hello guys, you are welcome back to the second segment maybe episode of what we have been doing it is about relationships and marriages that's easy but before we continue make sure you are subscribing to this channel and in account of five can you subscribe hit that button and the bell in account of five four three two one congratulations for subscribing welcome to home away from home this is the lion empire tv and we are having one guest who is our friend uh, by the name emma who is also discussing with us a lot of issues emma before we we, we finished our first episode tulikuwa tunaongelea mambo ya relationship na tukawa tumeenda sana na nilikuwa na swali pengine unapata kuna msichana ule unamweka vizuri umemweka nyumbani kijana amengangana amefanya biashara ameleta kitu nyumbani lakini ule msichana unapata eh, anafanya communication sana na marafiki wake wale pengine ma, former boyfriends eh, ama pengine ameanza kuona jirani ameanza kuona maboys wa mtaa what happens ukisema kufanya communication unamaanisha una aje kuongea wanaweza ongea but unamaanisha aje there, there is kuongea lakini kuna simu zingine pengine ameanza kupigiwa very late eh, very late jioni anapigiwa na pia saa zingine inaweza kuwa ni mchana lakini zile conversation zina wanafanya pengine unapata aziada zitaweza kuudhi pengine ule jamaa unaonaje story ikifika kama hapa unafanya nini Okay, ukisema hivyo unamaanisha pengine mpango wa kando ama sio mpango but the communication aipendezi huyo mwanaume sure. ama zote. Zote zote zina zina zinachangia sana. Unaonaje ikifika hapo tunafaa tufanye nini? Pengine hii ndoa iwawachane wa, ama hii relationship isha? Hapana. Ikifikia hiyo ya kuachana basi hakuta kuwa na marriage sasa. Juu tuseme umeoa huyu, umepata ana communicate na ex huyo ufukuze unajua unaweza toka kwa makao ingia kwa moto wenyewe ujue utaenda kuleta sasa yule anakaa aje so ni vizuri before huyo mtu muoe ni vizuri muelewane umwambie sasa hata mambo ya ex hata ikiwezekana hata hiyo namba aachane tu nayo juu kama ni kitu itakuletea shida sieri wachane na hiyo basi umuvone so uki notice Pengine kuna such communications that you don't like unaweza mketisha chini kuongea eri uchukua hatua after umeongea muongee mueleze huu uh, pia ni binadamu because hata wewe ulikuwa una date before hakuna mwenye tulipatana ati sasa tukachukuana sisi wote hakuna mwenye alikuwa na zake so wewe ulikuwa una date nilikuwa na date tuelewane usiongee na maex wako na mimi nisiongee na wangu hiyo tutasonga lakini usikuje upate naongea ukasirike na wewe pia baadaye nikusikia unaongea na hapo nyuma ama unachatia chini ya blangeti unajua tit for tat is a fair game unaona so inakuanga sisi watu acha tukue waaminifu kama ni hivyo unaona wanaume huwa wanajichukulia ati our lose hakuna kitu Emma you see we are african men we are african men and we are superior and we are the head of the family and so if a woman will try to do that we get furious and we can do anything because we are men and when it comes to us men men do not want to condone that even if them they can do that they do not expect you as a woman who is married yeah wameza kuleta nyumbani utulie if you buy something if you buy something or purchase something you keep it as a private Robert, property. I'm not saying that you buy a woman, but I'm just trying to bring a point that African men would tend to believe that now that you have married someone, you've taken them home, they are yours. They are your property. They are yes. part of you. And so she should not dare do something like that. Okay. 
ni ukweli anakuwa your property na pia wewe unakuwa my property and you you see hapo so, ndio kuna leta shida hapo ndio kuna leta shida kwa mfano tuseme umekuja umeambiwa mzee hakutaki sasa na amekwambia because nimekupata na xyz chukua kile kitu chako uende sikutaki kwa kawaida african men si wanafanyanga hivyo kama ni mimi naleta lori kubwa hapa na nakomboa watu wa kubeba na waambie kwanza huyu mwanaume ndio kitu yangu kwanza ile ninapenda sana kwanza rusha ndani ya lori Why? Director weka hiyo kama headline ya hiyo video. Imagine eti anachukua mwanaume anasema eti anabeba vitu zake zote anabeba mwanaume. Huyo ndio narusha sababu ni kwa hapa juu yake. Mimi sikuletwa na viti, sikuletwa na masufuria, ni leto juu ya mwanaume. So wewe mwanaume taangulia kwa lori alafu viti zifuate na hizo. Hiyo zinikuoa mtu na lazima. <laughs> Make sure you are subscribing, hit that button. Kuna DJ ambaye ndio director wetu, ako hapo nyuma ya camera, anaitwa DJ Spas DJ Spas ni director wetu wa leo make sure you're subscribing uh, to his channel DJ Spas Finest pale kwa YouTube Emma there is no way you will tell me that ati utaanza kunibeba na mimi tumekosana there is no way you can't do that iko <laughs> hivi why would you carry why would you even start doing that kwetu niliwacha brother angu niliwacha babangu niliwacha kila kitu chakula masufuri ukakuja kwangu ni kusaidianga tuishi hapana tunasaidiana hapa Lia ni kwa kusaidia wewe unanisaidia. Uno... Mimi umekuja kwangu ni kusaidia kwa sababu kulikuwa na baba kwenu, kulikuwa na brother wakashindwa na wewe. Akanipea ni kusaidia kwa sababu ameona ameshindwa na wewe. Hawakushindwa. Now you bring Biblia inasema So why did you get married? Mwanamke atatoka kwao, mwanamke atatoka kwao, wata watu wakue kitu kimoja. So wakati unaniambia ni pack niende kwetu na tuko kitu kimoja, unamaanisha Why Bible ikisema ni mwanaume? Yeah? If the Bible says mwanaume atatoka kwao, si unajua hiyo si kweli kwa sababu mwanamke ni anatoka kwao anakuja kwa kina mwanaume. Lakini itakuwa like ni kama umewacha wazazi wako. Ndijawacha mkopo mmoja. Yes, mkopo mmoja. <laughs> Lakini kila kitu tutafanya hapa kwanza kabla ijafikia mamako na babako tuna discuss kwanza mimi na wewe usisahau. So that you corrupt me and you take all my money. Hapa ana kuna kitu kama hiyo. Wazazi lazima waheshimiwe. Hiyo it's a must. Na kama utawaheshimu pia wale pia wale vijana wako watano watakuja wao wa mabibi wakali kuliko wewe. There is a lot of complication around eh? mm. These women of nowadays most of them I'm not saying everyone eh? don't don't take it personal eh? Eh, wengine hata mnaishi na mtu na ameshachukua loan siku nyingine unasikia unabishiwa mbebewe vitu zote na wewe hiyo pesa huku kula na huyo hata hakukwambia ni vibaya yeah. si vizuri ya is it happening no yeah it's happening and now when you tell that person when ataka kukurudisha kwenu anasema eti analeta lori ya nibebe okay ile kitu iko <laughs> wanaume na wanawake hapa unajua hapa inakuanga makosa inaingianga both sides uenda hata niyo mwanaume alichukua loan unaona lakini wakati umemake huu bibi yako kukua you are first friend naye mwanaume afanye hivyo yani tukue marafiki kabisa Marafiki hakuna kitu au fichana lakini ukimchukua nilimchukua juu ni mrembo sana hiyo mtaishi na shida miaka yote chukua mtu anaitwa rafiki kwanza mmeki rafiki yako hakikuwa rafiki hakuna siku hata moja atakuficha kitu hakuna hata kama anaenda anaenda kwa boyfriend anaweza sahau aseme nilikuwa naenda ku meet na nini pale This conversation cannot continue beyond this <laughs> There is something you are saying and you see a lot of a lot of ladies are complicating these things mm -hmm. and a lot of people a lot of men are now confused and our youths are not getting married mm -hmm. because they feel every woman is a gold digger because every woman it is now every woman's dream to get married by a, a rich person now you want to be married by a rich person when you yourself you cannot afford anything and that is why now us as men we are now promising heaven on earth when we cannot even deliver hell itself we are promising that because you people as long as you are not lied you cannot accept it so we have to lie to you so that you accept that you love lies you love a lot of lies because you can't accept the truth 
Mwambie ukweli. Hawezi kukufuata wewe wewe na hata wewe ukiwa ni wewe unaweza kubali. Mwambie ukweli nakaa kwa nyumba ya Bob. Niko na kitu ama sina. Unaona lakini ukianza kunipeleka hivi hivi yenye hakuna siku nikuamini. Tutaishi sasa kudanganyana nitachukua loan. Sababu niambia wewe nimeitonea. Najaribu kuchukua loan niona kama hizo million zitaingia for real. Lakini tuseme ukweli kila kitu itakuwa sawa. This discussion is over. This discussion No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you can comment and tell us what to do with such situations and today we are be, we are hosting one Emaculate Okuto who is also talking to us and maybe he's having conversation is conver- making a conversation direct to you and to us and we are bringing you this live from Komarok. Este, this is Lion Empire T Lion Empire make sure you are subscribing behind the camera is one DJ Spass thank you guys meet you in our next video